Welcome amigos to San Pancho, Nayarit. We are in the Riviera. Uh, almost a Riviera Maya. <laughs> Riviera, Riviera Nayarit. Right? Yeah, I've never been here, but it's awesome. <laughs> have stumbled into this super cool restaurantcito. Uh, yeah. It's in the back of Hotel Cielo Rojo. Yeah, and the kitchen's like open. It's a nice little patio. Yeah, so it's got like real cool vibes, some like organic food, almost yeah. like what you maybe would imagine in Sayulita, yeah. which maybe we might touch on that again later. But today's belly busting adventure Today's belly busting adventure. Yeah. Today's belly busting adventure, uh, Riviera Nayarit adventures, are brought to you by our beautiful sponsors. Tell them about our beautiful sponsors. Hill. Today's patrons of the day are Nikki Cantu and Renee Roldan. Thank you to you both, Nikki and Renee, for sponsoring this video, along with you all for coming along. Ooh, now take a look at this. Híjole. Can I have a, beat, a bite of your beet? Yeah, this is a beet burger. Never had that before, but. How's that taste? Mm -hmm. Is it as good as beef? Mm-hmm. Better. <laughs> it's good. Highly recommend that restaurant. That was, whew, that was delicious. All right, now, now we'll uh, try and get a feel for what is San Pancho. I have been here before, briefly, uh, with mi amigo Ricky Martin. <laughs> I'm sure you remember that with my, with my friend Chris, that you all thought it looked like Ricky Martin. Uh, but I don't really remember much in Hillary. La Huera, La Huerita. I've never been. I've never been. So let's check it out. so far here in San Pancho? It's way cooler than I had imagined. Greg told me like, there's a couple little restaurants, there's one street, there might be places on the beach, but I can't remember. It is really cool. There's I feel way like more than I remember. there's probably at least 20 or 30 pretty decently busy restaurants. Mm -hmm. A lot of restaurants, cool. Lots of cool shops. What I imagine of San Pancho is that this is what Sayulita used to be like. Mm -hmm. Like just basically, same as Alilita is now, except for just a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, mas, uh, mas tranquilo, eh? Yeah. Definitely like a surfing vibe. I think San Pancho has a pretty big surfing community. They have contests and stuff here, so you can definitely feel that. Uh, like visually, very colorful, and like just the, the palapa roofs. Yeah. The straw straw roofs is like just, uh, it's pretty cool. And every everything's built into, you feel like you're in the jungle. It's like every restaurant yeah. and place, it's all kind of one. It's, it's really neat. It it's is really pretty neat. cool here. Vamos a la playa. This is super cool. I cannot believe <laughs> I lived in Vallarta for so long and never, I never came to San Pancho. Yeah. And Greg said he feels like there's so much more here now. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot more going on now yeah. than what I remember two years ago. Uh, let's check out this little beach area and Middle. see if we can get under an umbrella so I don't get sunburned. Yeah. And now that I'm 28, I got you know have I have a skincare routine. I got to protect my oh skin. Oh my gosh. And, and uh, I have to beg you to wash your face. <laughs> <laughs> let's be real. Vamos a la playa. dozed off a little bit. It's really peaceful here. It's a lot more quiet than Playa Los Muertos where we usually hang. Uh -huh. People bring speakers there, BYOS. <laughs> There's a ton of beach vendors and so it's like it's like a happening place where yeah. the, whereas this beach on San Poncho is Way more everyone's super spread out yeah. and so it's really peaceful. 
super peaceful. It's cool to be outside of the bay, uh, yes. the Bay of Banderas, so where you can see just the whole sea. The whole sea, nothing. You just look out and, and Hawaii is out there somewhere. somewhere. Uh, uh, so San Pantra, I forgot to say, San Pantra is about an hour, 15, hour 30 yep. away from downtown Vallarta. Uh, it took us an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. And about 15 minutes uh, north of Sayulita, Pueblo uh -huh. Mexico. Though I will say, if Sayulita is a Pueblo Mexico, which Sayulita is very cool, don't get me wrong, it's, uh, you know, when we say something like, Sayulita or come to San Pancho instead of Sayulita. It's not that Sayulita is not good. Yeah. It's just that really you should do both. If you come to Sayulita, you have to go to San Pancho. I think it's... so too. I think it's it's pretty magical. Yeah. In our, I, we, we deem it a Pueblo Mexico. I think it should be a Pueblo Mexico. Yeah. It really has a lot of charm and character yeah. and uh, it kind of it's yeah. kind of like Isla Mujeres yeah. ish. A little bit of bacalar. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Hillary mentioned it is a lot like bacalar. Very like hippie. Bacalar is obviously not yeah. surfy, but it kind of has that like organic, um, you know, yeah, bohemian, 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 yeah. that boho. It's a cool vibe. Very cool vibe. A super interesting thing though that I didn't expect. Um, okay, so we're in San Pancho Nayarit or San Francisco Nayarit. People call it San Pancho, yeah. and like I feel like when people think of Vallarta, they think when they think of, when people think of Puerto Vallarta. All they think, I think people just think it's overrun with gringos. Yeah. And depending on the time of year, maybe it is. I don't know. We haven't been there yeah, during high season. Yeah. But right now, there's really, we don't really see that many gringos. Yeah. We've seen a lot here in San Pancho. Yeah. Not a lot, but more than expected. I think most of the people eating in restaurants and stuff yeah. um, are visiting, and I don't think they're Mexican. I'm not sure what part of the world That's I, true. I didn't hear a British or English accent. So How I don't know you? if this area. Did you now? Not Australian. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this area like attracts yeah. maybe tourism on an international yeah. or like outside of North and South Central, whatever you want to call America. <laughs> it seems like it's getting a little bit of the Sayulita overflow, where Sayulita has yeah. become very, very busy, sometimes too busy. I think San Pancho is absorbing that, and it seems yeah. to be absorbing it pretty nicely. Yeah. Now. I can't absorb any more sun. This is all I can take. Same. <laughs> Got my socks on to keep my feet cold. What the? the sand's too hot. <laughs> We couldn't take the beach anymore. We're getting so hot. Yeah. Uh, beach brats. <laughs> we uh, found a little placita. Not a ton going Not on a here. Lot going on, and by that we mean there's one guy doing, doing calf some calf races. races over there. And us. Uh, and then. Oh my gosh! Just hit my toe so hard. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oof, man. You and your toe injuries. Yeah. I was just trying to give a. It's a nice little plaza though. There's just not much going on, which. Um, Different from like central Mexico, I think it's because more, yeah. more people go to the beach. As at the, the beach. People go to the beach or. Nobody's hanging out in the and plaza. More than that, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, so it's just too it's too hot and sweaty to, to be out here just hanging out if you're not in the water. Chill. We are venturing down a random street, just one off, or we are one off the main street right now. That's what we do best, venture off Yeah, the I don't main know, just street. To, <laughs> just to try and get a feel for, I don't know what else San Pancho has, or just like what, you know, if you're not on the main street, or if you don't live on the main street, what is it like here? It's, uh, it's interesting, we both thought, like similar thoughts earlier, we were sitting on the beach and I heard uh, some song with ukulele in it, it might have been Jack Johnson, and I thought, man, this is a ukulele kind of place. Yeah. Like, 
just very laid back, calm, and relaxed. And what did you just tell me? It's like strangely resembles Hawaii. Yeah. I don't know. It's like I, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Just, I think it's like all the bungalows, like the very small, tight, close knit community. Very field. tropical, it's laid super back. Tropical, very chill. Yeah, it's interesting because there's. Uh, not nearly as much infrastructure as in like uh, Vallarta, for example, quite obviously. But then more than, you know, like Nautla, Veracruz, yeah. for example, but still really maintains that, that pure small town Mexico feel, which uh, I don't know, we've just really grown to love. Like some of the time we spent in, in the bottom of the canyon in Urique and just a day and a half in Nautla and uh in in oaxaca it's just been some of the best times we've had yeah. in mexico uh well it looks like kind of made it to the end of the road isn't that a song you gotta see what's around the corner something always gotta see what's around one more corner wow nothingness there you go this is san pancho amigos I'm kicking myself a little. Why? I, we should have booked a hotel here. I agreed. We weren't like, we weren't really sure just because I'd only been here one time and it's like, I don't know if, we just didn't know. Yeah, you we know. didn't know how much there was to do and like. How cool we, it was. Could or we, yeah, could we spend, you know, 30 minutes here? Or could we spend three days here? Yeah. I think it's closer to three days or even more. Yeah, I think, I think we'll definitely in the future spend a long weekend here and, and just kind of like, relax and yeah, bring you guys along for a zen weekend yeah there's not like there's not really anything to do in san pancho uh, besides surf and sit at the beach but it's just kind of it has a really cool town lots of shopping oh, and shops. uh yeah just a cool laid-back vibe i feel like that uh i don't know it's just really unique i mean san pancho is like if it wasn't right next to sayulita and uh, in vallarta i feel like it would be known more as a de yeah. destination it in and of itself yeah i think it does get a little overshadowed the plan is to walk up here to the big main highway and this the bus is supposed to come i don't know it's supposed to come <laughs> the bus is supposed to come we'll just leave it at that we don't know when that's we don't know uh, where wish us luck it's because it's know. hot outside yeah We made it on the bus. It was, uh, I think this was a person to reach you. We'll see how long it takes us. We'll be there by midnight. We'll see. Well, night eat, we will. 